got six ounces of um so cut salted cod soaked to get rid of the salt and shredded and add it to a medium mixing bowl and here I have three tablespoons of chopped red pepper a half of a medium onion chopped and one small tomato all these things must be finely chopped. The authentic one that I broke with no red pepper is added, but as time go by, things change for the better, I think. Mix it around, then you add some pepper, a teaspoon, pepper sauce. Tablespoon of ketchup, teaspoon of thyme. I guess it's about a teaspoon of black pepper. Not quite, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Blend that together. I'm going to add four ounces of water to start. Taste it for saltness because sometimes you've lost too much salt from the codfish and you have to add a little salt. I think I have to add a little salt. I'll put it just about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add a cup of flour. I'm going to add another four ounces of water to make it. One cup of water. I don't want to make the batter too, too soft. Some people make it too soft. It's for dropping. This is a third of a cup. So it's one and a third of a cup of flour. And this is just good for dropping. Look at that. About a cup of oil. I put my hand over the top of the um, frying pan just to see how hot the oil is. And then I drop a small amount of the batter in and see it's ready to go. So all sizzling. Two a large serving spoon. I can use them. And that should be just the right size for each fritter. Do you prefer the non-stick pans? Yes, I do. A non-stick or a well-seasoned pan. And then we'll see some tiny can't wash it and just wipe it out. My mom usually do these things on Friday evening. Instead of cooking a big heavy main meal, she does fried, she does fritters and fried dumplings, things like that. We call them little goodies. I usually test for doneness by pressing on it, and if none of the batter comes through, that means it's done. Done and the batter made um, this the batter that I made would make between 10 and 12 nice size fritter. Better when hot when it's crispy. Bay saltfish fritters ready to eat.